Hello friends and welcome back to another huge Kmart haul. I recently went to Kmart to specifically look for a couple of things and of course you know me, I can't walk through Kmart without looking and seeing what's new that I haven't seen before and uh, buying a couple of things that perhaps I didn't think I needed until I actually saw them. So if you're interested in seeing what's new and what I bought this time through my walk through Kmart, then let's get started. Let's get started with the first few things that I bought as soon as I walked in. I had to meander through the homeware section and of course the thing that grabbed me was this gorgeous soft loop knot which I thought would be perfect for decorating in my house. I'll show you in the video here how I've styled it. I was looking for something to replace the outdoor lantern that I had at the front there of this little set. It just wasn't quite working for me and when I saw this set came out I thought this was perfect. I absolutely love it. I think I might have to go and get myself another one for somewhere else around my house. And this is the soft loop object. It's actually quite substantial, but not too heavy. So if you wanna put it on top of books or on top of magazines, this would be ideal. I've placed it on top of a book underneath my uh, heater with a candle and a vase, and I absolutely love the way it looks. Near the homeware section, I also had to be on the lookout for a toy basket for my pets, for my dogs. I currently have them just corralled in a little white container, either from Ikea or from Kmart. Community announcement. These do not go in the dishwasher, unless you prefer this look. But I saw this online, a little bone shaped cane basket, and I absolutely had to get myself one of these. It is absolutely gorgeous and it fits right where my other white basket sits but looks so much cuter and it's also a little bit bigger than my white basket so all my toys fit in it and it just sits so cute. Um, and next to my little pet beds which by the way I bought from Big W. This pet basket was only $7.50 and I absolutely love it. It's made from wire so the frame is wire, a wire frame and then weaved through with this cane rope weave. I actually think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think anyone with dogs would absolutely need to get their hands on one of these. And Do you like that, Coco? Do you approve? Is that better? What about you, Daisy? Is that better? Is it easier to get to? Tell me. What do you think? Gets the Coco tick of approval? Yes? And of course, I couldn't resist while I was walking through the toy section, getting us some new squeaky toys. <laughs> yes, my dogs love these. They love absolutely tearing them apart and taking the little squeaker, squeaker? squeaky section out um, from themselves. So I bought them two, one for Coco and one for Daisy. Uh, we'll see whether Daisy will let Coco keep one. I think she generally just steals them all. So anyway, these were the light cuddle only, but they don't have to chew on them. And as soon as they tear them and it looks like they've torn a hole through it and they've started chewing on the rubber, I generally throw them out. Um, I don't think that they're quite safe for them. They might be, but they do say it's not a chew toy, but how do you stop a dog from chewing, right? I quickly walked through the book section because I needed to get my hands on a um, just a Sudoku book for my upcoming trip. My husband and I go to the States once a year normally for a conference that he attends and I take along with him and we make it a little bit of a holiday. So this year we're going to Boston, the conference is in Vegas and then we're going to end up in Hawaii. So I thought I might need some Sudoku or some just paper and pen distractions in order so that I don't spend too much time on, on my electronics while I'm trying to relax. And this comes in really handy, especially when you're traveling overseas, you don't want to run your phone flat because when you get to the other end, nowadays all the paperwork that you need is generally stored on your phone through an email or what. Anyway, so this comes in really handy when you're traveling. In the beauty section, I decided to try something new to me. I've actually run out of my uh, makeup remover and I need to buy myself some new ones. But in the meantime, I thought I'd check out what the Kmart has. They've got the Brighter and Firm Vitamin C and Collagen Makeup Remover with Orange Oil. This smells divine. 
I've used it a couple of times um, since I've bought it just to show you. Now, there's some footage here. It's actually very good at removing all types of makeup. I put foundation on my hand and then eyeliner, lip liner, lipstick, and also then finished it off with powder and everything came off really easy. I basically rubbed my fingers gently over the skin, letting the oil basically do the work and then just rinsed it out under cold water. All the makeup came off nice and easy without any problem, without too much rubbing. I just used some paper here, pat it down, and you can see that every single type of makeup came off really easy. So for the cost, I think this was under $5 or thereabout. I can't remember how much this was, but I'll insert it in the description box down below if you're interested in finding it. But I thought it was quite economical and also a very good product considering the price. It has a hint of orange, and I love scents. So for me, it's quite good. And also if you're a bit sensitive to smells, it's, I didn't find it too strong at all. So highly, highly recommend it. While I was there, they had the Sleep Bath Oil and Lamida Aloe Vera on sale. It was reduced down to $2. And I thought this would come in handy in the winter time when I like to have some warm baths. This would be cute to have on hand. And also, I watch Zesty Girl, like I know a lot of you also do, and she always wears the glue on nails. And I'm having some difficulty. I'm growing out my nails. I've had acrylic and SNS and gel and shellac. Anyway, I've had all different types of overlays on my fingernails just so that I don't have to keep redoing my nail polish. But I find that over time, they do really damage my nail bed. So I'm trying to grow them out. But in doing so, they're really still quite flimsy and not very strong. So because of the upcoming trip, I thought I might try these and see how they work so that I don't have to keep reapplying or removing nail polish. So this was another buy and influenced to me by another YouTuber. Okay. Let's get to an item that I thought I didn't realize actually that came out sold. I've been seeing a physio lately because of my knee surgery that I had uh, labor last year and my left knee has not recovered as quickly and as effectively as my right knee. My right knee recovered within a few weeks up, up and walking, no pain, no aches, no physio required. I was good to go. My left knee has been a totally other story. I've had to resort to physiotherapy to help and, and having it strapped. And even that doesn't really um, seem to help at all. What's happened is that because I'm preferencing other muscles so that I don't put pressure on my knee, now other parts of my body are starting to ache, specifically my hip joints, especially when I'm sitting, I'm getting a lot of pain in my hips now. And my physio recommended to me the memory foam ring cushion from Kmart. Now, I don't know if you knew, but I definitely didn't know that Kmart also sold th these types of cushions to assist with side sleepers if you need some support between your legs, if you need to elevate your knees, if you need to elevate your legs, if you need to sit up in bed, and also a, a memory foam ring cushion for me. And I've started using this and I highly recommend it. It's been really, really good in decreasing the amount of pain that I have by sitting on my hips. This is really helping with that. So if you're interested, I've inserted some footage here of what else is on the shelves at Kmart. I remember walking through Kmart and seeing walkers and pushers and also walking sticks and a few other things. So really Kmart has started branching out into some home health products that are really, really handy and really quite economical. This was $20, but I think if you buy it in any other specialty store, you'll end up paying heaps more. So this is really good. Right, let's get on to fashion. You know that I cannot resist popping into Kmart and having a look at what's new in the lady sweat. In my recent wardrobe declutter, I threw out a number of black faded acid wash jeans that I had that were just too high-waisted on me and weren't comfortable and didn't really sit nicely. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below in the description if you'd like to go and see it. Anyway, Kmart had the Anko White High Rise Women's Jeans in black. I'll insert some footage here so you can see what it looks like. These are wide-legged and they are super comfortable and fit me like a dream. These are a size 14 wide high-rise ladies jeans that I think you can wear with boots, like I've styled it in this footage, or you can also wear it with runners or sneakers, which I've also done. 
hope you enjoy the styling that I have done. I also saw this a California San Francisco windsheeter. I love just throwing these on over jeans. I'm working from home nowadays, so I really don't need to dress up, but I think you can still look pulled together by wearing jeans and a windsheeter like this. I'll show you how I styled it. Let me know, what do you think? Do you think you can get away with it? I think you can. You can also wear a scarf over it. You can throw on a coat and um, grab a really pretty pink bright bag and throw it on top. I've styled it here like this and I think I actually like it. I think I could live in this this winter. This one was $22 and I bought my size 12. I think it fits perfectly. I could have gone up to a size 14 but my store didn't have it. So I bought in a size 12 because I didn't want to miss out. This is really good. It is super soft and comfortable and just sits beautifully. I couldn't resist buying a couple of t-shirts you can never go wrong in buying t-shirts i know i always wreck mine by putting them on and taking them off i always get makeup on the collar and then i find it really difficult to remove it in the wash so i'm always on the lookout for some new tops especially in white i love a nice crisp white t-shirt and you couldn't go wrong this has got an embossed writing on it it's raised and it feels like embossed velvet on it and it says bonjour c'est la vie paris I thought this was really cute. I've styled it over my black jeans with my runners, thrown on a coat, and you're ready to go. Casual but comfortable and yet still pulled together. And of course, red is my favorite color. So I also bought this Brooklyn Soho Lower East Side Chelsea Leisure Club New York t-shirt. Can't go wrong, I styled it with my black jeans, but you could definitely wear this over blue jeans, over white jeans. And this is super comfortable. The only thing you need to be aware of that if that you have quite solid arms, these t-shirts are quite snug, which on the one hand are really good because you can just tug them up on your arm and they'll sit there because it's quite snug. But on the other, if you feel that your arms are quite a little bit more solid, maybe size up. These are a size 14 and I tend to wear a size 14, but you can see how this t-shirt here is quite loose. These t-shirts from Kmart actually sit quite snug on the arm, which depends on the look that you're going for. They are quite comfortable, but just be aware that they are quite snug on the arms. And then of course, I couldn't resist this gorgeous black felt hat. This is only $12. It's the Fedora short brim in black. It's quite firm but also quite warm. This will come in really handy in winter. It is a one size fits all, so do try it on if you can. On me, it is a little bit loose, but I don't mind that. It sort of gives me the flexibility of wearing it a little bit low on my forehead, but also wearing it a little bit further up on my forehead. Other ways uh, works both ways for me. There is no string inside to tighten it, like a few other hats that I've seen, but Overall, this is gorgeous. It's got a little leather strap on the edge with a cute little knot, which just makes it that little bit more elegant and chic. Throw it over a black coat and you're just ready to pop out the door this coming winter. Anyway, I think that is all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new. Until next time, my friends, have a fabulous day. Bye.